here's a quick review and warning about a book that I recently read called Smarter, Faster, Better by Charles Duhigg. And it looks something like this. Now, this is a book which is about productivity, and it's written by Charles Duhigg, who previously wrote The Power of Habit, which is an interesting and good read on the topic of habits. Now, if you think about productivity, if you think about, okay, this is a book about productivity, whatever you imagine is probably not what you're going to get. It's not, this, this book isn't what you expect, in other words. So it covers eight different topics. It covers motivation, teams, team leadership, focus, goal setting, management, decision making, innovation, and absorbing data. And it kind of jumps back and forth between personal stuff and organizational stuff. So some of these things, such as focus and motivation, are more focused on or are something you can apply if you're looking for kind of a self-help type thing, right? And other things like um, management and innovation are much more team and organization focused. And so first of all, as you can probably tell, like it has it covers all these topics, and it's so it's the, the focus of this book is a little bit scattered. And so you can imagine that, you know, this is not the best book you'll ever read about management and it's not the best book you'll ever read about focus or whatever, you know, any of these topics will be covered um, by specific experts in greater detail elsewhere. But it's a great resource and jumping off point. So it's also very much a popular science book. This book has a lot of storytelling in it. In the end, it doesn't make that many points, but it makes those points very strongly through stories and case studies. It does end up also containing some practical advice. I think some of the chapters are weaker than others, but I think what is the case in most of the chapters, I would say that six out of the eight chapters contain stories and examples and reference to research and studies that are unusual. So this is not your basic, you know, kind of the, the first kind of advice you'd think of when it comes to motivation and focus and team management and so on. I think the author managed to pick out some more interesting and more unusual things to study. And in that way, the book is a success. To give you an example on decision making, uh, two of the topics covered there are probabilistic thinking and Bayesian decision making. So probabilistic thinking it goes into a lot of detail on this, but the idea is that the way you can become better at making predictions is that you think of multiple possible outcomes and try to assign probabilities to them. So the trap that most people fall into is that they try to figure out what is the future that's going to happen? What's the future outcome that's going to happen? And you can fix that actually quite easily by instead thinking, what are possible things that can happen and how likely is each of those things to happen? And again, that's a point that I can summarize here in like 10, 15 seconds, but the book just goes into a lot of detail, referencing research, telling stories about people, giving you examples about how this is used in real life. Another very interesting point that I hadn't encountered before in other books was the idea of disfluent, of making things disfluent. This is about absorbing data. Very counterintuitive. Basically, you can absorb more data more effectively by making it less convenient to get that data. And what I did here with the book notes is actually an example of that. So for the first time in very long time, I took notes by hand. Now, I don't like paper, so I didn't use any paper, but I wrote on a tablet with a stylus to make these notes. And of course, that takes a lot longer than typing. But the idea is, this kind of, uh, because it takes longer, it forces me to be much more deliberate about what I write, what I think about, how I illustrate things and so on. And one of the studies reference shows that students who take notes by hand have much greater recall and retention than students who type their notes. And this also brings me to the practicality of this and the warning about this. So with the notes I took about this book, I took something from the book and put it into action immediately. I wanted to try out right away how this uh, disfluence for absorbing data would work for myself. And the book is practical enough that there are many things that you can try out and implement in your life right away. But there's also a danger because it covers so many different things in so many different ways 
that you just go, okay, I have all this information in my head now and now I'm going back to my normal life. So to make the best of this book, I recommend that you read it. It's a fun read, an entertaining read. It's eye-opening um, and there's good information in it. But then pick out one thing at a time that you actually want to work on. And if you do that, I think you can get a lot of value out of this book. So that's Smarter, Faster, Better by Charles Duhigg.